Howdy there, it's been a bit. Maybe about a month or so. And I've been pretty busy in the background making some dolls, just for my own amusement. And in the process, I've learned some pretty good stuff too, which is going to be exciting for the next few dolls I decide to film. I'm going to do a quick rundown of the dolls I've done since Melody, up until this point. First off is Candy, who is, I believe, the Ever After High version of the Cheshire Cat. She actually just changed clothes recently, because I just got an Elizabeth earlier, and it looks way better than the previous outfit I had. Candy was my first attempt at the stabbing the unraveled yarn into the head and then straightening it right on the head technique, and it did pretty good, actually. So much so that I started becoming really into it and did it for the next few dolls. Next up is this lovely rainbow-haired girl that I haven't named yet. I caved and got a Cave Club cutie doll, and the head in particular is really nice, and if I for some reason make myself another doll Sona that's me as a person, I might just use one of their heads instead. It already matches pretty closely with the way I draw my own cartoon head style. She was my first attempt at just going crazy with the colors and making crazy rainbow layered hair and it turned out really nicely. I was scared for a minute that it would get all muddy, but it, it's beautiful. It is awesome. I love it. Still gonna figure out what type of shirt, if any, that I will give her to make a better outfit for her, but she looks okay for now. Speaking of shirts, I have Olivia here, who was actually my second doll after Candy that I did with the hair cool hair technique. But I've included her in this spot because she's only half finished because she doesn't have her shirt yet. I did only just figure out the leggings last night. I always have so much trouble getting the clothes done, because like you get the face and you're just like, okay, I'm done with the face, I want to do another doll now. By the way, stretchy book covers, they make real good leggings. And now comes the current progress on my Perry and Pearl mod, or Twilight and something else related to Sky. I haven't decided on her name yet. But I was fresh off the Cave Club cutie girl and her crazy rainbows, and I was like, I need to mess with this crazy bright yarn that I have, and just go to town on all those layers of like different types, like a cool gradient or something. I'm kind of leaving them off to the side for now. I'll figure them out in the background, and I'll give an update as soon as they're done. And last but not least, we have a Briar Beauty that I'm turning into one of my oldest main characters. This character was a guy initially, but I've shifted him significantly to something more neutral, considering he was my first version of me speaking my own thoughts before I actually made a proper avatar for myself. So they're basically going to be way more neutral looking, or at least as neutral as I can get, but that is also something I will be doing off screen and working on in my spare time. Now, the yarn I have is wicked variegated, to a point where I had to keep unraveling it over and over and over again until I could get the right shades for both the rainbow hair and the mermaids. Neither of which needed green, so I just have a ton of this acid green color, along with the leftover pink and some of the orangey and reddish-orange colors from the previous builds. Now, the part of me that absolutely loves discordant colors is losing her mind over this. But I didn't have any other dolls to work with, so I was kind of stuck. At least until today. I got a pretty good deal on two more dolls. I have a Claudine here, and an Elizabeth, I think. Either that or Draculaura. And they're both in pretty good quality. The hair was gross, I already cut off most of it. And I have them ready to go to clean them up and get this hair on them. I just gotta figure out which one to start with. Let's go! And now we know the starting point of every single doll customization video, taking out the gross hair plugs and cleaning off the face. I remember both of these being very difficult. They had really gross and grungy hair, which I guess is good, because you want it to be gross and grungy because you're just going to reroot it anyway, and that's a sign that the doll is old and you don't feel as guilty about breaking it or anything. But also, ew, I have to wear gloves. It's gross. But with a little work, I got both Elizabeth and Claudine finished up and ready to go for customizing. And after testing the hair against the two different dolls, I decided Claudia was better for the green hair. With some hints of orange and maybe a little bit of that deeper orange in there. And so began the somewhat tedious process of unraveling as much yarn as I could from the random bits of yarn that I gathered after doing all that variegated stuff.
and then hair punching, which took longer than necessary, because, like, I like the Doll Planet's uh, hair puncher tool, but it has a habit of not holding the needle tight enough, and the needle just shoves into the tool rather than into the head like I wanted. I eventually had to resort to snapping a needle in half and then putting it in an X-Acto knife, and that worked a little better. I also decided against putting the deeper orange in there, it just didn't work out with the color. Perhaps I'll use it in something else, like if I give a character or bright orange hair with a bit of like the pink in there. That'd be cool. Maybe I can give Elizabeth that. And after gluing the ever-loving heck out of the inside of her head, I went ahead and started doing the brushing out part. This is always my favorite part because it goes from, like, somewhat messy unraveled yarn to fluff, and then the straight iron comes in and it's suddenly hair. I still have some refining to do because I find it still looks a little bit yarny, but it looks really cool either way. I love this technique. Before I worked on her face up, I compared her to Haldine, which is the sister of Claudine in the doll canon, but I'm- Bright is gonna be unrelated, I guess. But Bright actually looks kind of clunky in comparison to this Claudine I'm working on. It's probably the hair, because I did wefts with that, and I also didn't quite brush it out that great because I didn't know what I was doing at the time. Off camera, I went ahead and fixed that. But it's really neat to see that I've definitely improved as a doll face-up artist. As far as the face-up's concerned, I did consider making her a sister to Bright that was just angry, but like, I changed my mind and just kind of made her like this, uh, I guess sassy or snooty? I'm not really sure what expression that is. I intended for her eyebrows to be green, because, you know, that makes sense. We have the mostly green hair means mostly green eyebrows. But that lime green that I had, I really should have thrown out the last time I noticed that it was gross. No, it's not. Ew. But I finally tossed it, and now she has orange eyebrows instead.
I even used some of that same orange on her lips and then put some gold on top of it to kind of give it an almost copper look. And it looks really cool. I even put some on, uh, on her face as like eyeshadow, which also looks very nice. I was also really vibing with the lineless look, but I'm not confident enough to pull that off just yet, so I went with brown lines, which is a nice in-between of the two styles I like to do. I also gave her Bright's old leggings, because lord knows I cannot make clothes to save my life. At least not quickly. Which also meant that I was going to try and do the sports bra top with the coat thing again. Which I did partly because I already had a blouse that I had made for someone else and it just didn't work out. But it also works as a real nice overcoat pattern. I just had to add some embroidery and some fluffy fabric I had lying around to give it some accents and hide some of the seams. And after taming her massive mop of hair, which took like maybe 10 minutes, good gracious, I finally was able to attach the head to the body, which took longer than expected. Apparently I put a little too much glue in the head, and I could feel it as I was jamming it back on. I may or may not have busted the neck peg just a little bit, but lesson learned, next time I just don't put nearly as much glue in there. And with some accessory switching off screen, she's all done. Someone in a doll group I'm in said that she had this really cool retro vibe, which was completely unintentional. I honestly just like the overcoat and sports bra pattern, and I think, the, I think it's the glasses that actually do it. It looks really good, though. As for a name, I think I finally decided on Roxy. She looks like a Roxy. Fat or a Rochelle? But in any case, she's all done, and I can move on to other stuff. She took like maybe a bit longer than necessary because there were so many steps along the way and Halloween happened and just a lot of other stuff to distract me, but I think it worked out in the end. The slower I go, the better she looks. Who knew? Anyway, if you guys want to try and support my video making endeavors, I am starting a Twitch channel where I'll be doing basically the same stuff that I'm doing on here. A mix of drawing, mix of games. Maybe if I can figure it out, I can film myself doing doll making. It's gonna be a mess, but at least with Twitch you can kind of, like, switch genres without worrying too much about the channel being like, Hey, you are an art channel. You're not supposed to be this now. But, yeah, I'm, I'm rambling. Uh, if you want to just hop on over there, I'm probably gonna announce it on my Twitter. The scheduling is gonna be a bit weird, because my motivation to actually do streams kind of fluctuates just as wildly as my side hobbies. But you'll know when I'm starting one, that's for sure. But for now, as far as this channel is concerned, I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever that is. Probably dolls, maybe an animatic. My posting habits are an enigma, and you should probably all know that by now. I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, a little side note. Since, uh, since Roxy or Rochelle took so long to get finished, I actually finished off Perry and Pearl's face off screen. That's how long this took to produce. <laughs> oh, God.